Hello. Welcome to Saturday's Devotion, Saturday, May 9th, 2020, taking a look at John chapter 10, verses 27 through 30. Uh, John chapter 10 is that uh, Good Shepherd chapter in Scripture. We looked last Sunday at, ch- at verses 1 through 10 of John chapter 10, and that's actually what the sermon was on on Sunday morning. Uh, Today, we look at the very last part of that chapter, verses 27 through 30, which read this. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I gave them eternal life and they will never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. I and the Father are one. Some really comforting words here at the end of John chapter 10, as as really John chapter 10 has a lot of comforting illustrations uh, for us. First off, that uh, 27, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. The idea that that the sheep recognize their shepherd's voice. Earlier in the chapter, Jesus had talked about the fact that wolves come in and, and try to snatch away the sheep. But not so now. This is a familiar voice. This isn't a voice that's going to try to spread false teachings and false information. This is the voice of truth. Earlier in the chapter, he also says, I know my sheep, and my sheep know me. You think about that. In contrast to the unbelieving Jews, Jesus' sheep hear the voice and hear his voice. You know, these words really say that we're secure forever in Christ. That's despite our being like sheep and wandering away and falling away. Jesus takes that staff and brings us closer in. And you know, sometimes in our lives when when we get really off the path, sometimes he puts some pretty significant issues or trials in our lives, right? or allows those things to happen in an effort to get us back to him, the good shepherd. Our security also, as you see in this section, is locked up with the Father in heaven. No one can take us from the hand of Jesus because that would mean seizing us from God the Father's hands, and no one can do that. Jesus' words were clear. He is from God. He is God. He is the Christ. At the end, he says, I and the Father are one. This is exactly how the Old Testament Jews understood it. That's why they put him to death on the cross. the sheep, you and I. We follow our good shepherd. We follow his voice. We know his voice. We listen to his voice. We love his voice. We look for that voice. What a comfort it is with all the chaos in the world that we have that opportunity to hear that good shepherd's voice, and to continue to follow him. We'll sing our hymn for today, hymn number 436, Jesus, Shepherd of the Sheep. They will be a short introduction, and we'll join together in singing.
Jesus, shepherd of the sheep, who your father's flock does keep. Safe we wake and safe we sleep, guarded still by you. In your promise firm we stand, none can take us from your hand. Speak we hear at your command, we will follow you. By your blood our souls were bought, by your life salvation wrought, by your light our feet are taught, Lord, to follow you. Father, draw us to your Son, we with joy will follow on, till the work of grace is done, there to live with you. We in robes of glory dress, join the assembly of the blessed, gather to eternal rest in the fold with you. Why don't we go to God in prayer? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for leading us with your voice. We thank you for instilling in us that recognition of your voice that we may follow you as your sheep to the eternal pasture that you have prepared and won for us. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask that uh, we, you, you be with all those that are affected at this time, all that are hurting, all that are in despair. Uh, we ask that you uh, be particularly with perhaps today's small businesses, farmers um, who are struggling to sell their crop or who are struggling with various weather conditions. Uh, please comfort them with uh, the uh, knowledge of, of your promises and, and that you will work out everything for the good of those who love you. It's in your Son, our Savior's name that we pray. Amen. Certainly, thank you for listening to today's devotion. We'll be back uh, tomorrow for our Sunday worship. Uh, we're going to take a look and continue our look at the risen Savior continues to conquer. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to take a look at, at the he continues to conquer by overcoming death with life. Because as he says in John chapter 14, I am the way, the truth, and the life. We'll leave you with the, the traditional Easter greeting. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Amen. We'll see you tomorrow.